Okay. So how was that transitioned from that to what you do now? Yeah. Well, it is a, sl a slight transition. So basically, I was buying and selling pharmacy-based businesses in Australia. And then when we moved to Germany, I was working with a business coach at the time, Glenn, and he was kind of asking me, well, what are you going to do when you go to Germany? I was like, I have no idea. And he was the one that gave me the suggestion of, you know, you really should give back and start coaching people because you've got the experience and you're really good at implementing and learning everything I'm saying. So that's basically what I did. After a little bit of back and forth with him, I, I took his advice. So that was my transitioning. I needed so because I'd sold my last business, moving to another country, I wanted to do something that was location independent. I wanted to do something that I really enjoy. I really enjoy retail. I really enjoy working with people and I really enjoy helping people. So this part, the coaching part, helping other retailers really fulfills all of those, uh, all of my values and all the things that I want to achieve and the impact that I want to have with people. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. I love that you, after everything that you've accomplished, that you still want to give back to people. That's very commendable. Yes, I think it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's such a driving force. And I think if you speak to a lot of people uh, beyond money, helping other people and, and bringing about change and really making a difference really tends to be the driving force to do anything because uh, that's ultimately what makes you happy. You know, when you create the change in someone else and you see someone else uh, being happy from implementing the strategies that you've uh, instilled with them. And it ultimately, I believe when it comes to human beings, it's all about helping each other and helping other people. And I think it's, it's a yeah. deep down value that we all have. We just don't realize it. And it's one of the keys to happiness. 